Good morning. Um, what we are going to do today is we are going to get familiar with Microsoft Word. So the first thing I need you to do is find the Microsoft Word icon um, on the computers at school. If you go down to the Start button, you click on that and you'll see the programs. Double click on Microsoft Word. Once you have the program opened, you're going to find a blank page. The blank page is where you're going to type your document. A few things you need to be aware of. Um, you're going to see when you type, you're going to want to make sure that the cursor is flashing. And then to indent, you want to press your tab key one time. When you press your tab key, it tap moves in and you can type with an indent. When you finish typing from a sentence, you need to hit the space bar two times. So make sure that you touch the space bar two times after the end of a sentence. You will also see that the text will automatically wrap. You do not need to press the return key. Now, if you want to begin your sentence with a capital, as all sentences are, you press and hold the shift key and then you type the letter. Press and hold the shift key. Do not press the caps lock key because it will make all the text capitals. Use the shift key to create a capital. If you make a mistake, all you need to do is press your delete, your delete key and it'll move the sentence back. If you spell something wrong, the computer will try to tell you by underlining it with a red line. And if you put your cursor over that and click on it on the right, right side of your help, it will tell you what kind of word to pick. You just click on it and it will make a correction. If you need to make corrections in the paragraph, all you need to do is use the arrow keys to move up and backspace or delete what you want to correct. Today, we are going to practice moving the text on the page using Microsoft Word. Some other things to learn to know is that if the word is underlined 
in red, there may be a spelling mistake if there is a underline and underline in green there may be an extra space. Again, place your cursor over the line and right click for suggestions. Sometimes the computer will not recognize a word. So always double check their suggestion. To move to another paragraph, press the return key and then indent. A couple things to remember. Your text needs to be times New Roman, size 12 or 14 font, or Arial, size 12 or 14 font. To change, to change the font, Highlight the text by dragging and holding the button on the mouse until the text is highlighted. You want to change is highlighted. You can also change the space of your text. To do this, highlight the text, then press the control
this will make it double space to make a word bold again drag your mouse over the word and select the bold button on the toolbar. This can, you can also underline or make the word italic by following the same directions. Finally, if you want to change the layout of your text, select the text by dragging the mouse to select what you want to change. Then select where you want to see the text. We'll add and a title and a name line. To show you. Now you will practice. Follow the directions on the paper you've been given. Get familiar with the program before we type. Good luck and have fun.